Welcome back. This will be part seven of the character rigging tutorial series. Last video we talked about how to create uh, facial joints. And in this video we're going to talk about creating helper joints. So primarily what we've created so far are anatomical joints, joints that are going to be the primary motion of the character that correlate to a real world counterpart of a human or, or animalistic based joint. So uh, those are our main movement joints and then what we call helper or non-anatomical joints are joints that help correct the deformation uh, when some of these anatomical joints bend and rotate in more extreme uh, poses. So there are several areas that we can add uh, helper or non-anatomical joints to correct the deformation uh, and they're primarily in the shoulders, the hips, because uh, there's a lot of uh, omnidirectional motion that both of those joints do, as well as twist joints are really helpful. So we'll add uh, both of those to correct and improve uh, the deformation of the body. Once we actually start skinning the character and refine the skin weight, which is how the geometry moves with these joints, then these helper joints will be really nice to correct and help improve the deformation of the body as the character is animating. So we're going to go ahead and create these uh, non-anatomical joints and then we'll come back and uh, talk about after we get the skinning set up how those can really be helpful with the motion. So from uh, the side view we're going to create some helper joints for the front and back of the hips uh, to help correct some of that motion. And if I get my joint tool I'm going to come over here and create one in the front of the leg, not really on the crotch but there's the front of the leg going up. Uh, front of the leg and I need to move this in front of that uh, leg joint so we'll say something right there. What I do is I hold down V and just snapping it to the front uh, axis I hold down the V key I can snap it to uh, in the X axis so that it aligns with that joint. There we go. All right, so we do want this to be inside the geometry, but allow us to kind of help correct this area as it is crunching or deforming in the body. So we'll do something a little bit lower right there. I'm going to hit Control D and put this to the back area, not necessarily right on the butt, but uh, this will help uh, clean up and correct how the uh, the butt does deform as the leg moves forward and backwards. So that should work well there and helper joints aren't necessarily placed in the center of the mass but are placed in areas where we need to correct that deformation. Let's go ahead and name these. So joint underscore left hip and we'll say underscore front helper. Okay, we'll kind of copy that whole name, paste that and we'll say F for front, B for back helper. Okay, we can go ahead and parent that up. So these get parented to the hip. We want them to move with the hip. There you go, so it looks like that in the structure. Um, some other joints we want to add are twist joints. So that way we can correct any twisting or weird deformation center of the upper leg and the center of the lower leg. So let's go to the side view again. And we're just going to put one right in the middle here, so something like that. Um, and then we'll go ahead and put an inner, and we'll go ahead and put another one in the center of the lower leg, somewhere right there. Okay. All right. So my issue is that uh, they are not kind of positioned properly. So from the front view, I can hold down the V key and snap that to align that to the center of my hip joint. I can hold down the V key with the second helper joint, snap and align that to the center of the knee joint. Yeah, something like that. Let's rename these. Uh, joint left upper leg, and we'll say twist. Let's say joint left lower leg twist. Okay. The upper leg twist gets parented to the hip. So let's actually go back to the respective view so make sure I have the right one selected. So upper leg twist gets parented to the hip. Lower leg twist gets parented to the knee. OK. 
Okay. So these are what's called non-anatomical joints. This one is right on top of the uh, pyramid for the bone for the hip leg. But these are what's going to be called twist joints. It's going to help correct any deformation with that, um, that center of the leg in the upper and lower leg areas. Okay. Now one thing we can do is take our left leg hip. Let's actually delete the right leg hip again. So we can mirror over our left leg with our helper joints back to the right side. So let's select the left hip. It's already parented to the pelvis. And go to skeleton, mirror joints in the option box. And we want to do YZ if your character is facing the Z axis. YZ, search for L, which is our left side, replace with R for our right side. So let's copy all that over. And there is my entire uh, duplication. Now the other thing that's weird is that I did choose like a capital L for lower leg. So now it's a capital R. So let's just go and make that correction. Same thing with leg there. Lower leg twist, upper leg twist. We're just going to have to correct that since we did say look for a capital L replaced with capital R. Alright, so helper joints for the shoulders. Uh, we're really not going to need too much of a one underneath the arm, but on top of the shoulder it would be really nice to have one up there. So from the front view, I'm just going to click, make sure it's still inside of the shoulder, but I'm going to create a joint um, at the top of the shoulder, and I just need to move this back now. So if I go hold down V and from the top view, we can try to snap it you know, close to the center of uh, the joint there. Let's move it back a little and down a little. That's going to be really helpful there to help blend that motion when the arm gets raised up above this T-pose position. So something like that. That'll be a good pose there. Uh, let's, uh, let's duplicate to control D and we're going to put one in the center of the arm of the upper arm and we'll go ahead and duplicate and put one in the center of the lower arm. Now that's really going to be helpful for the twist of the radius and ulna of the lower arm, but these twist joints are really helpful in correcting some of the extra blending deformation that we have here. Um, so we can move this forward a little bit so that like from the top view, we're in the center. Let's go ahead and rotate this joint uh, so that way it's following down the length of the arm. Let's take the second helper joint, rotate that back a little bit. There we go. All right, uh, so let's go ahead and name these. So say we'll say joint left, uh, shoulder, let's say T for top helper. Okay, so this is my joint left upper arm twist, joint left lower arm twist. Okay. Let's parent everything up. So the shoulder helper is going to get parented to the shoulder joint. The upper arm twist is going to get parented to the shoulder joint. And the lower arm twist is going to get parented to the elbow joint. Okay, so there's my arm structure now. Uh, let's go back to our clavicle and delete the right arm clavicle all the way down. And let's reselect the left clavicle or collarbone. And let's go to skeleton, mirror joints, YZ for the axis, L with R, replace. Okay, there we go. I should mirror that over properly. We just need to make our adjustment for, I think, um, I think this one, right? Yeah, lower arm lower instead of lower. Correct our capitalization here. Upper arm twist. Correct our capitalization here with this one. There we go. Alright, so helper joints are really nice to help correct any odd deformation. So you could do that for the front of the stomach, uh, for the chest. Uh, as that bends forward, that's another problem area that we could add a couple of other joints in there as well. That could be helpful. Now, you may not need all of these, but these are some good starting points to correct any deformation that may happen. So that'll wrap up this video.